Hello and welcome to Tawani, A Thief's Tale. Today we are starting a new character. This is a level one rogue. And uh, if you watch the introduction video, go over the rules. This is a solo molo self-found series. Uh, trying to get to level 110 on a rogue. So uh, uh, we're going to start here in the tutorial and then uh, move on with our lives. Uh, we start with nothing. <laughs> uh, I guess we get an ornamentation and a helmet ornamentation here. Let's go ahead and just pop these on somewhere. Since bag space is going to be a premium uh, in this series since we don't have any special bags. So we regain consciousness. We're going to do the tutorial and whatnot. And I do not like that helmet. I'm going to keep it on until we get something to replace it. All right, basic movement. I already know how to do that. We're gonna click OK to start the tutorial uh, and go through this here. And I recommend the tutorial for anybody who has not played the game in a long time or uh, is a brand new character. <laughs> like if you've never played it, I totally recommend the uh, tutorial and the hero's journey that follows it. All right, find the uh, guy and continue. Let's make sure we are running here. Yeah, I just feel super slow. <laughs> and we'll fix our UI once we get out of this. All right, so here's the glooming jailer that we have to kill. Just uh, slap, him, slap him a few times by hitting Q to turn on auto, count, uh, auto attack. Go ahead and loot that key. Open up the inventory and hand it over to Arius there and then uh, hail him this will take us into the main tutorial zone all right we're in the main tutorial here and we can kind of start going through this so if we hail him he's gonna give us uh, some quests and then we can leave if we want but we're gonna actually do everything I'm gonna hit alt O I'm gonna copy the layout uh, from another character and that character is going to be Holdridge. Copy that. Now, all my UI stuff should be on my uh, Discord. If not, please let me know and I'll post it. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to actually just go through and clear uh, all these bars. Since I don't have any of these items, I don't have any of these abilities, but uh, I want the layout is what I love, so it's familiar to me. Like none of these abilities are usable, so I just clear them all out. And we are going to clear that one. Just throw that one off. What is this one? Yeah, it's just uh, junk there, and we'll clear out that one too. There, we'll build the UI together. <laughs> uh, this can go too. All right, so I got some stuff kind of bound here and uh, whatnot, so it's it might be a little confusing, but it'll be fine. All right, we don't want to uh, track that one. All right, so we can go around and start hailing all these NPCs. They're going to give us items. So straight off the bat, we get some arms, others, and then that. She's going to do that. Let's go over to the banker real quick. Let's hail him first. Now inside the bank, you will find a bag. Go ahead and take that bag. And I'm going to go ahead and throw these ornamentations into the bank so I don't have to carry them around. All right, the merchant, hail him. And then the scribe here, hail him, accept his quest. Hail him again. It's gonna open up the achievement window. Go ahead and uh, click okay on those things that pop up. There you go. And there we go. We complete the the achievement thing, we get 2% experience. There is currently an experience bonus going on due to the anniversary event. 
but uh not a big deal all right so we want to hail is this guy on the list here i thought he was He's not. <laughs> Let's just hail him. So he's going to tell us about mercenaries. We're going to accept his quest. All right. So he's going to want us to hire a mercenary. We're going to hire a healer mercenary. And we're going to set it to reactive. Mercenaries are free until I think a level. Oh, I think it's 15. So something nice to know there. All right, now we hail him again, and we gotta go kill a kobold. So just pop over here, swim across the lake, or river, grotto, whatever this thing is. And let's go ahead and rolls. I'll set ourselves as main assist, and set ourselves as main tank, and pull her. No, we don't want to pull her right now. Let's do that later. All right. Now, if we hit Control A, we'll pop up this little uh, actions window. You can kind of see our actions that we currently have for uh, combat. We have no combat abilities at this level, so. All right, you can kind of see <laughs> how slow this is going to be until we get, you know, a, a decent weapon. Our goals are going to be trying to find some defiant daggers. Uh, and, Truth be told, we probably don't even need to use daggers since we won't be able to backstab until 59 with chaotic stab to allow us to backstab from the front. So, you know, it's not as, you know, needed right away. But, you know, we can use it for when we stealth to get into stealth and kind of do that. All right, we got our mercenary, uh, whatever, uh, thing done. We got to go tell him about our victory. Can't wait till we get to the, the run speed thing. All right, where is he right here? Hail him. All right, that's done. Let's hail him. And these just tell you how to how to play the game. And uh, obviously, I know how to play the game, so I'm just read, just clicking through everything. But if you don't know how to play the game, please read all this stuff. This is very important to playing the game. Very important. All right, we're gonna turn off that one. I don't really need it. And hail her. She's gonna give us a quest. Hail her again. Click OK. Click OK. Click OK. Click OK. Click OK. She's gonna give us a worn totem. We're gonna take that item and uh, put it on our hot bar. I'm gonna put it in my cools area. All right, we're gonna hail this guy. He's gonna tell us to go get his sword out of the water. Uh, and give us a kind of a basic intro into swimming. So you can see here is our air remaining. Uh, we will drown if we don't get out of the water. So keep that in mind when you're down here. You're going to come out, hand him a sword. You just pick it up, paw, drop it on top of him. And he gave us a mask. Perfect. All right. Uh, let's see. We need to go talk here. Let's click this now that we put it on the bar. That needs to move up. <laughs> what a weird place to put that. All right, we'll go over here to this priest of Lucklin. Hail him. Click aid. And uh, that part of the quest updates. Now we need to go over here to a visor. Hail him. Click OK. All right, we need to give him our weapon to continue. So give him our little dagger here. Click OK. Now we have a little bit better of a dagger. <laughs> there we go. Hail her for the map quest. Let's see, she needs mushrooms. So right over here by this barrel, some blue mushrooms. Just pick one up and run it back over to her. Now, if you look at the map, um, it's supposed to, uh, yeah, right there. It tells you where mushrooms are, but I have, uh, I have maps, uh, third-party maps. So they kind of 
doesn't really show the same stuff. All right, if we talk to Ryutan here, he's gonna buff us. Say blessed, gives us a buff, it gave us a spell too. Wow, what do we get here? Throw stone, all right, that's cool. So if we go here to uh, the combat abilities, if you don't have this window up, it's, uh, it's like Alt-C, yeah. Alt-C will open and close that window. Just grab it, throw it on your bar somewhere. And then click OK, click OK, click OK. All right. Now we need to talk to the little gnome over here. He's going to give us a trade skill quest. All right, rat steaks. So he's going to give us some materials. Click the um, oven right here. Click experiment. Click the two items. Put them in. Click combine. Gives us a piece of rat steak. Click OK. Go. All right, got that done. So come over here to the beginner missions guy, guard, whatever. Hail him, click accept. Hail him again, make sure we got everything. Hail this guard, click accept. And make sure we got everything. All right, so we need to kill four bats and eight rats. So we can just go ahead and start here. And uh, what I'm going to do real quick, yeah, let's kill this real quick. And I'm gonna, I am going to grab a tank mercenary. I, I do have uh, multiple mercenary slots. I am going to grab a tank one real quick. Can I really not hit this rat? That is so weird. There we go. We're going to grab the tank one to make uh, killing stuff a little bit faster uh, when we don't need to be healed. There we go. Kill their first rat. Uh, we're going to roll on everything. I'm going to be... I need money, so might as well try to uh, do whatever we can there. So I'm going to go over here to the journeyman mercenary. We're going to grab a aggressive there we go and there we go we have both healer and tank and we can swap between those every like five minutes or so so now I can mark myself main assist we'll mark this guy main tank and he'll do more things He's just going to do more damage than us, and that's really what it boils down to with this guy. There we go, level 3. And if you see these rat piles on the floor, click open them. Uh, that's for this right here, destroy vermin nests. There we go, got that. I'm just going to loot everything. And then the barrels over here, you don't have to do them, but you should. Uh, we're going to want these arrows, because that's the arrows are used for a quest. Here, let's do this. Control A, go to the first tab here, click open. Put that uh, somewhere on your bars, and then you can just click the button. Save yourself some time. Go. Okay, so we need to talk to Mackenzie the Younger here in a second. He's right over there. Just make sure we get our... Rats and bats as we go. All right, let's hail him. He's going to give us an augmentation. Uh, when we say lesson, listening. So there we go. We got an augmentation. We can pop that in our weapon. Click yes. And it gives it a little bit more damage. Uh, the augmentation here is uh, actually doesn't give any more damage. It gives this kobold, uh, kobold bane damage. So we do more damage to the kobolds that we're going to be fighting here in a moment. All right, hail him again. And fight them off. <laughs> All right, so good with that. We need to run back up there and talk to uh, Arius to let him know we finished our basic training. Ah, uh, but let's kill the rest of these rats real quick. And we need... I thought we already killed a bat, but I guess not.
So we'll kill the uh, three more bats we need. And we're just going to loot everything because we will sell it. Alright, one more bat. Unfortunately, there are no bats, so we'll just come back up real quick. Alright, there's one of these. Oh, named rat. Let's go ahead and kill him. <laughs> so these have a higher chance of dropping Defiant. It feels like Defiant being the uh, the leveled different Defiant gear that you can get as a catch-up mechanism. So yeah, we got a 10% uh, haste item. So that's sweet. That uh, really helps us out a ton. Put that in our range slot. Get rid of this uh, lantern thing here. Uh, actually, we want to keep the lantern in a main inventory slot because of the light now i did pick a human as my starting race and by default humans are pretty much night blind and uh most of the other races are not not night, <laughs> night blind all right so we need to go talk to her and then she's gonna give us pants so we auto equip the pants, so that's good. Uh, we need to talk to Arius and tell him we're done. Which gives us a charm. Uh, this is a five, uh, five to some stats, some HP. So it's a little, you know, nice little charm, you know, starting out here. All right, uh, now we can hail these guys again. They're gonna give us. Uh, some more quests and we can head back to oh okay, we already finished this one so grab our arrow here hand this one off to him and he's gonna give us a quiver right here we'll just put it in the main inventory and you put arrows and quivers you don't need to you're, you'll auto equip them anyway, but it works. All right, so now we need to go to the spider section of the cave here. So I'm just gonna make sure I loot all these barrels and stuff along the way. You can get backpacks. You can get uh, a, a bow, I think, but uh, it's all random, so. All right, we need to kill 12 spiders, 12 or four lurkers, and then get some uh, other items along the way. So we're just going to pretty much kill everything. And then we need four cocoon silk in these cocoons right here that are like uh, the spider eggs. We need uh, those. All right, we're going to take one chunk of bronze. We can upgrade our sword with that, I believe. I don't know if I've actually ever done that, but... Uh, <laughs> Uh, we can try to do it. So the chunk of bronze here. So just give it to a bazaar, I guess. And he will... Uh, do that. Alright, so the spider tamer, Gugan, right here, he will drop the anti-venom violet. So that's kind of where we're going to get that item. Just put everything on loot. Now he's yellow, that means he's higher level than us by, he's level five, we're level four, we just dinged four a few minutes ago. So it is uh, this item right here, the Gloomy Deep Violet. Uh, we're gonna loot everything else we can get. Now in the rules, I did not say anything about Bazaar or anything like that. We are self found, but we can sell items in the Bazaar to get platinum. Uh, I, I feel like that's fair and uh, you're gonna get like extra items and stuff like that that we we're gonna want to get <laughs> like we don't want to just have items that we can't do anything with so especially like we are on a server that is not free trade so uh, whatever we can sell is worth selling anything else we will attribute uh, for extra stats to help us solo be the tribute system when we uh, get to uh, get to that. Go. Go. 
Come on. Go. Perfect. This one, what are we at here? 8 of 12. Alright, we got some crude defiant chain gauntlets. Uh, I believe we'll get some other ones, but the crude defiant are actually better. So these are uh, more, more chain. <laughs> More armor class is good. So armor class at early levels is fantastic for mitigating damage and stuff like that. So it will be uh, great for us. Now the queen gloomfling is up and we do not have the quest for her yet, do we? Yeah, so when we get the quest for her, we'll kill her. Otherwise, it's not worth <laughs> the poison. All right. Come on. All right, task stage complete or done with lurkers. <laughs> All right, so we can go start here and kill these spiders, the little ones. Uh, we just need a few more of these. And we need one more cocoon, which we should get along the way over here. Come on. And one more spider, and then there's the cocoon right there, so doing well. This will get us to level 5, so that's nice. Oh my gosh, we did not level off that. There we go, now we leveled. Alright, so now we're level 5, we get the new ability called Origin. Uh, we're going to turn auto grant on. It should always be a gold account. Free to play, in my opinion, just does not work. So we're going to put that on our bar. Origin will teleport us to Crescent Reach uh, at the starting area where you start, you know, where your character starts when you come out of the tutorial. So there we go. We're done with that one now. Go ahead and click OK on that. And let's get out of here. Uh, let's see here. So I'm gonna check the barrel. So we got some water out of there. Don't think we got anything from that one. So here we go. I said we'd get backpacks. We got a backpack. Uh, backpacks are great because they are larger inventory items. Uh, they are eight slots. So that gives us even more inventory. Uh, we're gonna hit every single barrel until we have enough backpacks. It'll save us. Uh, I think I think it's it's either three gold or one platinum per backpack. I don't remember the exact price. So we need to return here to guard riots. So he's gonna give us twelve percent experience for that, and we need to go here to this lady. She wants the I mean deep silk. So Cocoon silk, this one right here. She wants four of that. Pan that over. That gives us the uh, Looming Deep Cobalt Chain Breastplate, which is fantastic. Uh, still no HP regen, but uh, it's good. And then we need to give the Violet. I think we can actually hail her. And she will take. I think she takes silk, but can't remember we're just gonna sell everything all right we're gonna give her the violet there we go 38 percent for that one go over here to the merchant and sell that so that i'm holding down shift to sell the entire stack of items single action uh, i'm gonna keep the water might be starving at some point and might as well have it done now so we go over here to advisor uh hail him let's not let's just give him the bronze bar i've never done this quest ever so he gave us another weapon he gave us a bronze weapon so this is a 0.1 
0.74 item versus this, so it's slightly uh, better. So we can go ahead and go like that. And we have the might that uh, we can't dual wield yet. I think it's like 17, so we'll hang on to this dagger just in case. All right. Let's look at the quest log here. Uh, we need to speak to, I think these guys again. She's gonna give us the group quest and that's it. So we need to go kill the queen. We can go do that real quick. Uh, well, maybe real quick, I don't know. I'm, I'll keep the tank out for now and see how this works. And uh, we're going to check for barrels, see if we can get another backpack. They have not respawned yet. Uh, there are more barrels uh, in a later area, so don't feel like you have to stay around here to uh, get all the barrels. So we're going to just try to make our way through here. If we get some ads on us as we run, it'll be fine. We'll kill them all. Go... Perfect. No aggro. All right. So we're just going to walk up here to the queen and kill her. Now she's yellow. So obviously she's higher level than us. She's level seven. We're level five. Uh, she is a difficult fight sometimes. Sometimes she's not. But uh, it just depends. Uh, the mercenary is really doing most of the work. So I'll get used to that. <laughs> There we go, she's down. She has a chest back here you can open. Typically it doesn't have anything of use in it. Uh, I usually just no, I don't even bother with it, but uh, there we go, she's dead. Uh, now it gives us the quest to go to the uh, next questing area. So this has a, like little questing hubs, there's like three or four of them uh, that we can go to throughout this. And it's up this way instead of going back. Uh, guard Hobart here will uh, help us out. There we go. Uh, we get a Glooming Deep Chain Hat, and we also get some healing potions. I'll uh, we'll put those right there on our bar. And we're level 6. If we die, we will lose experience from now on. Alright, so we're going to get two quests from him. I think we'll get a quest from this guy. And we are now level six. All right, so we need to kill five uh, kobold grunts, warriors, slave wardens, spirit weavers, and whatnot. Let me open this one back up. All right, so uh, this room here has a barrel in it. Go ahead and check it. And there's a bone pile here, barrels. I don't even know what this is. A cobalt dagger. I don't think I've ever seen this. So this is a 1.6. Uh, we have a 1.7. So not an upgrade to us, but I've never seen that item before. So that's maybe just a rogue thing. All right. So here are the grunts. Uh, we'll go ahead and kill them as we start through here. Uh, we want to go over here to guard Zir and Kalachi and uh, grab the uh, grab their quests next. All right, what are we at? Uh, Thirty-four percent in. Now you, I believe you can stay in the tutorial till fifteen, and. Uh, you know, just depending on how this goes, we may uh, see how far that take, how we get, how far we get, right? Now, there is a money-making method uh, that has been suggested to me here in the tutorial. And in this area right here, um, in the slave area, I believe, the uh, there are caster, spirit weaver, I believe is what they're called, uh, kobolds that drop a... A staff that is worth one platinum and that is a pretty good little farming item uh, early on all right we're gonna grab that all right we got a bow <laughs> all right uh, let's see here where did it go the bow on 
Oh, we can't use the bow. Never mind. Uh, that's our haste item. All right. Well, we got a bow. Uh, might be useful later on. All right. We need ten warriors. So might as well kill these as we go here. Now, this first episode is going to be a little bit longer because I'm going to do the entire tutorial inside of this episode, but uh, the follow-on episodes will not be as long. And this is, you know, kind of just kicking the kicking the series off, if you will, you know, get, a, get in a good spot. All right, we're done with grunts after this one. Go. And what do we get here? Crude Defined Cap. We can sell that. And some tin ore, we might be able to barter that. But check all the barrels for backpacks. There we go. Throw a stone at him. And do that. Alright, we got an add. Ironically, I'm holding aggro off this, this mercenary in some cases, which is weird, but I guess to be expected. All right, I've kind of, kind of gone full circle all the way around this room, and uh, now we can go down here, uh, make our way to the other quest mobs, so we can grab their quests. So far, so good. Uh, Typical start here in EverQuest. I'm gonna go over here and salute all those real quick. Oh, Slave Warden. These are yellow, so we do have to kill them for the quest right now. But they're gonna drop, uh, I think he has a whip or something like that. It's not worth looting unless you're actually gonna use it. All right, uh, gloom leather boots. So these are not usable by us, but we don't want them and we don't want the whips either, so. All right, here are the other two guys. Let's grab their quests, just hail them and uh, grab them. They're gonna give us a lantern we're gonna need later on. Yeah, there's our task list for the pretty much rest of this uh, zone. All right, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up here and do the slave, uh, the slave section, and knock that out. That should level us up to uh, seven, probably eight, and then we can go from there. Cause the uh, where is it at here? Uh, there's a name we gotta kill. We might not have it. Yes, this Overlord one. He is he's a, probably the hardest mob in the whole entire zone. Awesome, <laughs> level seven. Uh, he's he's just a difficult mob for uh, our current situation. All right, we got a new ability called Pickpocket. Uh, I'm not going to do anything with it right now, but we will make a macro so we can start pickpocketing mobs. Uh, I just, uh, just not worth the focus right now. Uh, but when we get to the mobs that have money, we can pickpocket them and kill, then kill them. Uh, we can stealth around zones and kill all the mobs and just pickpocket them before we kill them and stuff like that. All right, we don't want the Warhammer. Oh, there's the locksmith. Perfect. Now we need to kill the locksmith for the busted locks part quest right here. So that'll be uh, part of that. Plague bearer. Don't 
thing that we have to kill those. All right, there's the key. Grab that. I don't know why this warrior is like twice the size of that warrior. That's funny. All right, we're getting our defense up, which is good. Very good. He's marked his main tank yet. He's not main tanking the way I would expect. <laughs> All right, well, we never want these Warhammers, so we're not going to loot those. Come on. So we're uh, level 7, 30% in. All right, we got a chunk of iron. That should be another item we can turn into a visor to get a new, uh, a new weapon. So that'll be great. Uh, we need, I think we need three more slave wardens. So we're going to have to kill these as we make our way down the hallway here. Oh, I think at level 10 we get backstab, so then the positional of, you know, the having the uh, the mercenary on the other side of us is uh, hopefully going to be beneficial to us. And uh, I don't know what level it is rogues get evade, but uh, what we, we hide... We turn off attack. I'll have to make a macro for it. Uh, turn off attack and hit hide, and it will lower our threat. And that should pop the mob onto the mercenary. That'll allow us to backstab. That's theoretically how I plan to uh, actually get through a lot of the content is to uh, just go pretty much glass cannon ish as much as we can and uh, let the mercenary kind of take the brunt of all the heavy hits. All right, we got another backpack and a sack. That is fantastic. Uh, we do need more warriors, so two more warriors. That's fine. Let's go back to this page. So we should get hide and sneak, and then we'll get pocket and pick lock that should work since we don't have any skill in any of those right now it's not gonna be worth using because it just won't work all right we're gonna hug this wall here we're gonna kill this warrior since the last warrior we need and then uh, we want to kill Slave Master Ruga. When we when we attack him, uh, two mobs are going to spawn with him. So it's going to be a challenging fight, I'll say. Uh, but we do have these Celestial Healing Potions. Uh, and we are able to buy potions from a NPC and Plane of Knowledge. So that'll be beneficial to us so we're gonna throw stone and we're gonna pull back so we only got two which is great so i'm gonna attack this guy and hopefully the uh, the mercenary can taunt him off me uh but i doubt it all right so let's go like right here let's make a macro called evade we'll make it yellow so we'll do attack off and one, two, three. So we'll do DOA three, do ability three, and then attack on. Let's see if this works. So hit three. Your attempts to 
ducking clear of uh, ducking clear of combat fail uh, because we have no hide, right? So we're just gonna have to uh, endure this. Now this guy is uh, an even con, so he's level seven, so he is actually, uh, you know, taking us down pretty hard. We might need to heal with one of these potions. There we go. All right, Gloom Leather Bracer, we never are going to want those. There we go. Now, you can see here the mercenaries like taking zero damage. <laughs> like, they are completely insane. So, that's going to be something beneficial to us. And you'll note that I'm not getting any hide skill, even though I'm using it. I, I don't think evade will help our hide at all. Uh, but we'll see. And in the in introduction video, I said I wanted to get to level 21 so that we can do the uh, Drunken Stein quest. Because uh, we need 50 alcohol tolerance to be able to... Uh, to do that quest and I if we look at the calendar right I don't think I have much time I have like this week <laughs> and then uh, uh, you know a few more there so there will there will be a push for us to hit 21 sooner than later and then we'll go grab that it takes like two minutes to actually get the quest and the item once you have 50 alcohol tolerance there we go, level 8. Alright, we're going to take the sibling. And we're going to check this dagger. That is a upgrade. Grab that dagger. We don't want the iron bracer. Alright. Don't think we got dual wield, but uh, it's letting us put it in the offhand, so... I'm not going to complain for right now. All right, so this staff that this Spirit Weaver guy right here has is the staff that I was talking about. It's a one platinum staff. Perfect. And when I copied the UI over, put all the uh, stuff in the right place. So you can see our damage went up significantly. We're going to roll for that and roll for that so it auto loots it. Oh, we're going to kill this one. So you can kind of see our damage. We're hitting for four, 14 a pop now with a sword. It's a like I think it was 7 damage. Yeah, 724. I mean, that is, that is nice. Alright, we got some barrels. Let's see if we can get a backpack. Uh, no, we're gonna leave all that stuff. And make our way through here. Ah, uh, so I'm gonna hide. I failed. Eh, never mind. I was gonna try to, like, sneak around them, but since we don't have our hide skill up yet, that is just not gonna happen. Because I think we, we will have, probably have to fight all three of these uh, that are right here. But uh, we're doing a little bit more damage now, so it's not too bad. No, oh, <laughs> it actually, it actually hid me at some point. All right, we need to deliver the key. Do that. Oh, another bow. Bow. The bows are actually worth a little bit of money, so definitely worth the item slot that it will take up. Now, when I made my character, I put all my points into stamina, 
uh, to have a little bit more hit points. I don't think it really matters too much. Uh, starting was everything into strength and dexterity, which uh, strength is going to cap out really soon here on live. So I didn't think it was really worth, worth, worth putting the points in there. Stamina will take a little bit longer, I think, to max out. Especially consider we will be only pretty much defiant armor for the first like 80 levels. All right, we're doing pretty well, I think. All right, here we go. Who gets the key? This guy gets the key. All right, gives us uh, some cobalt gloves. Oh, another backpack, sweet. All right, this is working out fantastic. Let's throw that in there. Gives us another eight slots. All right, so we need to go talk to that guy. All right, perfect. So we'll go down here and kill these goblin slaves while we're down here. Oh, did it work? No, it failed. <laughs> he taunted it, so it is what it is there, but... Come on. Come on. Once we get dual wield, our damage will go up slightly, uh, which will be pretty nice. And we don't want those. Did get gloves from here, so let's just compare these real quick, right? They should be pretty much equivalent. Um, yeah, these are the exact same. So we had gotten the crew defiant early on, so uh, as a drop, but it's the same as the quest armor from here, so. If I can position myself better. Now we have to kill 10 of these uh, goblin slaves, uh, but there's not really a lot in a, one spot. So when the one you find them, kill them. All right, we got crew to find. Shoulder pads. Uh, yes, thank you very much. Shoulder item this early on is fantastic. It won't be until level 20 we can do the uh, the daily quests from uh, Franklin in Plain of Knowledge that will give us uh, a back belt or shoulder item that we can choose from. And uh, we will have to do those because that will be the easiest way for us to get some early on gear that will be good all right we got another pair of <laughs> crew defined gloves i feel like we're getting uh getting rogue loot uh which is nice right it's maybe the uh rng is our friend today but who knows We're gonna run down this hallway here. Actually, let's clicky our run speed thing. And let's hail him. There we go, we got 21, 21% uh, 21 experience for that quest and some boots. And we get a new quest. And we can put those boots on. There we go. All right, we got a lot more quests to do, so, uh, but we're close. So let's go, let me see here. Which side is that guy on? He is below, so we're gonna drop down here, go right through here, and we're gonna kill all these slaves as we go through here. Oh wow, he actually taunted it off me.
so level nine now. Uh, I think I think it's ten we get backstab, so that'll be fantastic. Didn't <laughs> kept, kept not hitting attack. I mean, five percent a kill is is pretty fantastic. I believe it's a fifty percent experience bonus. All right, we get a crude defiant uh, hog. Uh, we're not really concerned about that one since it doesn't give us any stats we need. I might be able to sell it to a vendor for uh, a little bit of money. And then uh, when we get to playing a knowledge, we'll be able to buy. Uh, I I think we can buy them for like this level. Uh, if we can't, we won't. But there's a haste potion, there's healing potions, uh, heal over time potions, and uh, regeneration potions. So we'll want to pick those up as soon as we get enough money. All right, here is the named we need to kill, Rook Flynn. So he is uh, right here. So one more slave after him, and uh, fantastically done with this quest. All right, he drops a worthless pick. In fact, it is worthless, so don't even bother with it. See if I can back off. Get the uh, tank to grab him. So I am at fifty percent health. There we go. Let's see here. What do we need? We need. All right. I think everything. I think everything is pretty much the final stretch. We should get all of that as we go to the end here. All right, let's get out of this cave. We've got all the goblins down. Guess we got this guy. <laughs> Wonder, I wonder what the stats are on the iron weapon we're going to get from that turn in. Now, I'm going to make an attempt real quick on uh, the Pit Fiend, who's right across the hallway here. I'm going to heal up first, and then uh, we'll make an attempt on it. I think the Mercenary should be able to just straight up kill it, uh, but it is it says it's a group group effort required kind of thing, but all right. Uh, I haven't seen another player yet in this thing. So there he is. He is yellow, so he's level 12. He's just going to hit hard and uh, we just don't want to get hit. So that's pretty much how that's going to work. We got another bag at some point, so that's nice. They're not regenerating fast enough. And let's go ahead and get rid of that mail icon. I hate these things. Alright, so when you sit down and you're out of combat, you will get an increased uh, increased uh, regen rate. Uh, I don't know what that actually becomes. I don't think it changes it here in the stats, but it's significantly faster, right? Where... Oh, jeez. All right, we'll let the mercenary uh, get some aggro. There we go. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. You can see here, the uh, mercenary is actually taking damage from this, so. Sh 
should be able to knock this one out real quick. And I believe this quest will give us a new weapon. If I'm not mistaken. Eh, maybe it's a different one that does. But we shouldn't have too much issue with this, right? As long as the mercenary tanks it. If we tank it, we're going to get uh, destroyed, right? You can see here. Thing hit for 36, 23, and we only have 300 hit points at the moment, so you see how fast we would die trying to tank this. How am I pulling aggro? <laughs> Taunted. What am I hitting for? I'm missing most of my hits, so... Just back off for a second. That's surprising that I was able to pull aggro off that. I guess it's, you know, as the mercenary gets a little bit higher, there are mercenary points uh, to incre increase them, but uh, that's a long ways away. to steal. <laughs> Alright, let's try attack it again here. I mean, what are we hitting for? 14? I mean, that's a pretty good hit at this level. Alright, it's almost dead. There we go. And we got the uh, haste orb again, <laughs> so we can't even loot that. All right, that's done. All right, let's make our way out of here. Can we? No, nope, can't click that yet. Now, if I'm not mistaken, we need to go this way. Oh, there's the named uh, Kobol. Let's go ahead and kill him. Our mercenary decided to show up. Perfect. Maybe we will get lucky and get something useful. Nope. I'm just going to loot all these barrels. Alright, so that's not going to fit. And going to sell things would have probably been a fantastic idea, but... Uh, I think we're good for now. I mean, what can I... I can destroy some of this junk if I want to. This will level us up to level 10. I say that, but then I get like 1% experience. <laughs> I get 5% for everything else, but 1% for that. Alright, here's our first captain. Ah, uh, we need to kill 4 captains, so... Kinda just make our way through them all. There's a, there's a few open that spawn around this fort, around here, so. There we go, level 10, all right. We got backstab, we got disarm, we got parry, we got safe fall, sense traps, nice. We got some abilities to use now. All right, so let's go here to backstab and uh, let's do it this way. Let's do auto skill. All right, so it's just gonna backstab when it's available, when we're behind the character, the mobs, right? Go.
Now, if we look at our smashing here, right? We missed our first backstab. <laughs> Disappointing. All right, so we need to go over to this little box and uh, right, kill this guy first. All right, give me a backstab. Ooh, a 28 point backstab, nice. All right, we gotta come to this box. We need to drop the lantern into the box and move. Uh, right over here is another captain, so we'll go ahead and get him real quick. And a healer, so we're gonna kill both of these so we get that staff. Go, the box blew up. Alright, so we need to kill the Overlord and go turn in some quests. So we're pretty much done with the tutorial after we finish this part. Alright, we get some spells. Did not get a staff, unfortunately. Well, we did. Never mind. Alright, let's go right here. So he's right there, and there's a lot of mobs like in between. So we're gonna kinda... Oh, <laughs> the warrior, uh, the mercenary is now double yakking it. Nice. So just kinda... Make sure he tanks these things. Alright, we already got the chunk of iron. Let's kill this one. Now positioning might be a little tricky right here. But we did backstab for 28, so. Alright. Now inside this room there's a guy there, and I think there's a guy in that room. Uh, we're just going to throw stone at him. Come right here, go around. Come on. Cooperate. <laughs> that is a lot of aggro, I tell you what. All right, we got a crude defined emerald, which is uh, something we can use. So we'll take our crude chest plate here. We'll put this aug in there. Like so. Give us another, like, one strength, one stamina. Alright. I'm gonna back up. Hello. Or the mercenary should aggro him. So we get a little closer here, and we've gotten our skills up a little bit in this time, so we should uh, have no problem. Yeah, we're at 40 offense, so we should have no problem hitting him. He's an even con, so he is level, uh, what, 10? Oh, uh, we got a 10-point backstab. This is, uh, can we... There we go. A little bit bigger. Uh, one thing we can do, I think it did it. Melee. Yeah, it doesn't copy these, but. I'm stunned. My crits. I like to change the color of these to orange. Uh, we're not going to get crits now, but it'll show easier down here. Later on. Come on. Taunt a little bit better, buddy. Let's go ahead and drink this potion. 
All right, we got a Gloomsdale, a Steel Blade, uh, which might make a great offhand. We'll take it now, just in case we don't get anything better. And then we get a Gloom Bracer. So let's chain, take that. All right. And take our way out of here. use this so we need to go do some turn ends real quick all right we need to report back to those two guys in the cave and then deliver the egg and speak with guard hobart all right so from here we need to go now, at this point, the, most of these things won't attack, I don't think, anymore. But I I think it's pretty much random anyway. All right, we got another bow. Keep getting these little sacks. Now, I do believe they sell for a little bit of money, so... guy wants to fight. Come on, come on. Things are dying a lot faster. Oh my god, another bow, jeez. Alright. Hail him. There we go, level 11, we get a Bracer. Should have auto-equipped, yes. And hail this guy. Good there. And now we need to go speak to guard Hobart. Which is right down this way. And I believe this will wrap up the tutorial. I mean, did pretty good nine platinum without having without really selling anything yet. So uh, we should get a dagger from uh, one of these guys. There we go. We get a new dagger. Let's see what the ratio is on that here. So if you alt click on it, it's a point two, uh, but this is a point two nine, so it's not really an upgrade, but it is an upgrade over our offhand because of all the stats. So, there we go. I was just hoping to get another backpack. <laughs> uh, having to buy, what, four backpacks ain't too bad. I think we should be able to afford that, no problem. All right. Where is the little bird, or the drake, I guess? We're gonna give him the egg. And that's done. So if we alt Q, gives us all our, uh, all our quests are all green, except for the last one. We just need to tell him we're done. It gave us another 9% experience, and we can leave the cavern. Uh, before we do that, Go over to this guy, hail him, say blessed. Go over here to this guy and sell everything we can. Mangled pelt. So the bows are all worth one platinum each, which is great. The staff is worth four platinum. So I said one platinum early on. Uh, I was wrong. You can also buy healing potions here from this guy to uh, keep yourself alive. One platinum for the Creed Defiant Helmet. 
Each of the sacks sell for one gold. Let's see the defiant uh, ruby shard, one platinum. So if we just click on the bag and click yes, it'll sell everything in the bag. I don't think there's anything I really want to keep. I guess I wanted to keep those arrows, but I already got a hundred of them. And we could take up uh, arrow making if we need to. All right. Uh, I think I can sell. No, I can't sell those now. I put them on. That looks good. Now, we're, while we're here, uh, let's give this iron to him and see what he gives us. Uh, it's a point is 217. Nope, still not as good. All right, so we can uh, just destroy these. Don't need those. And then what is this? This is a point three sword. Mm, I'm going to get rid of that too. All right. We have food and we have water. I got like, a good amount of it. Uh, so we did check that these are equivalent. Yeah. Destroy that. And good to go. All right. So we can leave the tutorial now. And right through this cave. Escape to Nora. All right. We're here in Crescent Reach. And uh, this is a pop up. It immediately gives you to tell you, you know, tell you about the hero's journey and you can kind of go through there. Uh, we might do some of the hero's journey, but it's not going to be something I focus on uh, in this series right away. Uh, but there we go. That is episode one. The tutorial is done. Uh, this is going to be a weekly series uh, as, as, I, as planned right now. And uh, we'll see how it goes. Uh, but I am going to get to level 21 as soon as possible. So there will be a few episodes kind of queued up and ready to go. But uh, thank you very much for watching and please have a fantastic day.